Now, moving on to the latest in the investigation into a massive corruption scandal rattling this country. The independent counsel team has recalled key figures for questioning, and that includes Che Sun Shil, the woman at the heart of this scandal, without much success. But what's noteworthy today? The special prosecutors may have found a new lead that could possibly more strongly implicate Che in the alleged bribery case. It could also mean a new warrant. Our Hwang Woo-jun reports from the independent counsel office. The independent counsel team recalled four key figures for questioning on Wednesday. Three of them appeared: Choi's niece Chang Shiho, President Park's former presidential secretary Chong Woo Sung, and the former senior presidential secretary for policy coordination An Jong Bom. But while Choi Sun Shil, the woman at the heart of the scandal, was also summoned, she didn't appear, citing psychological trauma as a reason for her inability to show up. During an afternoon briefing, the independent counsel team said it didn't know exactly what she meant by that, but the spokesperson indicated that it could be related to the news of her daughter's arrest in Denmark. The first and only time Che has ever complied with the summons was on Christmas Eve. Since then, she's continued to refuse, citing health reasons. The team spokesperson Lee Gyu Chol also mentioned that if Choi continues to fail to comply with the summons, the team could request a new arrest warrant to bring her in on new charges. The spokesperson specifically mentioned charges of bribery. Meanwhile, the independent counsel team has confirmed that the Danish High Court has dismissed Chong Yura's appeal of a lower court decision to extend her detention in the country to 30 days. Back here in Korea, the independent counsel team says it will continue to pursue extradition. We've confirmed the extradition request will be settled today and then sent to the Justice Ministry. Since the Justice Ministry has already translated the arrest warrant, the process will start as soon as it receives the request. However, the team also says it's highly likely that Chong will return to Korea of her own volition because she will have to be separated from her 19-month-old son while she's in detention in Denmark. And experts say her return could serve as a catalyst for the investigation, possibly leading Che to become a bit more cooperative. Hwang Woo-jun, Arirang News.